Hello everybody, I wanted to show you my Barbie collection and most of my Barbies come from thrift stores or flea markets and some of them also came from, well, my childhood. So if you see some with broken crowns or don't have their shoes or their hair is ugly, well, they were because they're my childhood and I like to play with my Barbies. <laughs> so um, when it, I'm going to start with my ballet Barbies, which are my favorite ones. And, well, I'm going to start with her. And she is the Swan Queen of Swan Lake. And I bought her at a flea market, and I think I showed it to you. And she's very beautiful. Well, all of them are very, very beautiful. And she has everything. She had her shoes. She had her crown. The only thing that was that her headpiece feathers are a little, like, off. They were a little damaged. But, hey. For a cheap price, she was okay. So, this is my sister. She gifted it to herself. <laughs> and, well, it's the Ballet Barbie Wishes. And I think she's 2015. And I really like her face. She's very different from the other Barbies. And she had a stand. Well, she came with everything because she was in box new. <laughs> I also like noticed that her collarbone is very, very like noticeable. And well, this is one of the 90s Barbies, and she is a twirl, twist and twirl ballerina. And I do have everything. I have her box and her stand. Well, it's not a stand. It's like um, I don't know what it is. Like the ballerinas use <laughs> to warm up. <laughs> And well, you used this, and you grab like grab her, and with the leg you push her, and she twists. I don't know if you, anybody has seen the commercials, but if you haven't checked it out. And well, I have Odette from Swan Lake and her prince Daniel. And if you notice something, this is not his crown. It is not his crown, but like my mom. Uh, put that on him because she said he looked weird without one and I don't know where she got that one from and well she has everything she is she and him are from my childhood and if you can see she has no crown missing because my mom let one of my cousins borrow it and they yanked the crown off oh well <laughs> and her hair is a little opaque like it used to be cleaner like you can see a little grayish in it it's like, Barbie is all grown up. <laughs> and she does have her wings, and one of them does light up, but the other one doesn't. And she is very hard to put on a stand because her wings are very heavy, and she often falls off. And, well, this is him. And I always thought that he looked, like, way older than Barbie. Like, he was a 40-year-old, and Barbie was, like, a 20-year-old. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> and... He has everything but his crown, and I don't have the swan he came with anymore. And this horsey is also Barbie, and I can't remember which one it is from. I can't. I don't know where he came from. Or she, because she has eyelashes. And next. Next is the Sparkling Eyes Barbie. And she has her original earrings, but she does not have her original dress whatsoever. This is something I bought for her, and I thought it went well because she has, like, the whole fairy thing going with the sparkling eyes. And she has that 80s hairstyle. You can see her eyes now better. And this is a Rapunzel Barbie. I have three Rapunzel Barbies, and this is one of them. And I found her at a thrift store also. And she had her ring, she had her necklace, she had her earring, she had her dress. She didn't have her shoes. But she did, I mean, and she didn't have her cone either. I don't know if anybody has seen her with the cone. And her hair is still long, but it's not as long as it has to be. I think they cut it. But I thought she was in good condition, so I got her. And I have two uh, Barbie with baby Keiko. Well, actually not two, just one Barbie with baby Keiko. And I don't have Keiko anymore. I don't know where she is. And also, she just has one of her flippers and none of her other accessories. But she still has her beautiful hair, which I always thought was beautiful. And this Teresa, I don't know where she is from, but I would always put this on her. And I can't remember what her original clothes was. 
So if any, anybody knows this Teresa, please tell me. Okay, and next it is, uh, I think it was Mermaid Fantasy, Kayla. And I really, really loved her and used her a lot. Like, she was my favorite Barbie, and I think I would even go in the bath with her. Look look at her hair. I, it's really hard for me to, now that I co like collect them, uh, I don't know why I did it. Well, anyway, and she's missing her um, bra or whatever you want to call this. <laughs> and um, I put this one on her, and it is from the mermaid, I mean, jewel hair mermaid Barbie that I had also. But I also ruined it, so... Kayla was in better condition, so I just put it on her. Like, look at her tail. Seriously. I don't know what I did to her. I think I would, like, smack people with it or something. Okay, and um, this one is my most recent one that I got. And like I said, um, my sister had, like, four or five uh, mermaid, uh, jewel hair mermaid. But we ruined all of them and or lost them. So we got a little nostalgic and saw this on eBay and got her. So we really got her. And we don't have a stand for her, so we just have one of those like porcelain tall stands for her. Like if you can see right here, but I want to get a new one because I don't want her damaging her. And look at her hair, it's super beautiful. Okay, next is another Rapunzel. And she comes with her carriage. I have her carriage and I do have her horse, but it is underneath boxes and boxes and I could not get it. And, um, well, if I ever take it out, I'm going to show it to you guys, but not right now. And then she still has her dress. She's from my childhood, I forgot to tell you, and she still has a dress, but no shoes and a broken crown. Yep, the little tip is broken. Also, I don't know what I did with her hair, that it's not so long anymore. I think I cut it. I don't know. And this is one of my absolutely favorite childhood horses. It is a flying hero horse. And I destroyed it completely. Like, I barely found it. I had it in one of, one of like, some box in an attic. And, um, she was completely destroyed. Like, she's pink, but I had made her black somehow. And her hair was in knots and knots and knots. And I recently um, restored it. I painted her, her eyes, everything, and uh, combed her hair out, washed it and everything. And I think she she looks really nice. I, I painted her all. And her feet, well, her little hoofs, whatever. And um, Max Barbies are my mom's passing by and um she is an angel um holiday angel i think from uh 2000 i'm not sure if somebody knows please tell me and uh well she comes with everything i got her at a flea market and except she doesn't come with her like sash golden sash that goes around here all the way over here like you can see right here it doesn't have it and this was like so like a, yeah, like a top. And um, she does come with her shoes, which are kind of different. Uh, if I can only show you, like, see, they're very weird. <laughs> and um, next is this Angel of Joy. I don't know what year she is. And she, I got her at the same time I got her. And she, th she didn't come with her shoes, but I put the jewel hair mermaid Barbie ones and. They, they look pretty good on her. And here she is. And next is Dorothy and Glinda. And I got her them both at Savers. And they were almost complete. They had her, their dresses. And Dorothy doesn't have her shoes, so I just put those on that I got at a flea market. And um, Glinda doesn't come with her shoes either, so... I need to buy her some, and her also her uh, wand is missing. And here is the holiday Barbie from 1998. And uh, I think I showed her in one of my videos. I did uh, the most recent one, I think. And she came with her stand and her shoes. 
and also her certificate, but I can't find it. I don't know where to put it, but I'll find that. And this is a Barbie had a little lamb, and I got her because I love her hair. And she came complete. She has her oh snaps. <laughs> Oops. She has her shoes. I think you saw them, or else I'm gonna drop her again. And um, yeah, she's missing her lamb. And I think some book. And this is Rapunzel. This one was my mom's, and she never ever let me touch it, ever. And when I always wanted to borrow it, and she would be like, no. You're gonna ruin it, and she still has her shoes, and her hair is fine, she has everything. So I'm glad my mom didn't let me use it. <laughs> and this is Peta from The Mockingjay uh, Part 2. And he comes with everything because I got him brand new. <laughs> and this is the dress, is the Blossoming Beauty um, Barbie. Yes, I think. And the Barbie, I don't think it is the Blossoming Beauty. I don't know who she is, but she has really nice earrings. And me and my sister thought it was a Blossoming Beauty, so we put this dress on her, but I don't think it is. And, um, and that is it for the Barbies. And I just have these two little extra items. This is a McDonald's uh, toy. And... This one is the Barbie fashion model magnets. And they're from, I think, the 60s or, well, the Barbies are, I don't know if the magnets are. And if anybody knows who these are or which brand they're from, um, please tell me because I do not think they are Barbie. But I've had them ever since I was a kid and I would like to play with them a lot. And I don't know who they're from. I always thought it was Barbie, but then they don't have anything. They don't have Mattel or anything. They just have Made in China on the back. But their hands don't feel like Barbies. They're very like bendy, like look at their fingers. And um, I don't know who they are, but they're very pretty. And I wanted to show you guys. So that is it for my Barbie collection. And thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe, comment, anything. And, well, thank you. Hope to see you again. Bye.